G'day and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at the free service from Adobe, which is the audio enhancer. Now, Adobe doing something for free is obviously very strange because it's Adobe and they never do anything for free. But what does it actually do? So you have your audio files and you go to the audio enhancer website and you upload them and apparently it spits out a studio quality audio. So you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is give them the audio and that does all the rest. So for a larger file, it will take a little bit longer. For smaller files, obviously it's quicker. So we're gonna do four different tests today and I'll show you how to use the service at the end. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one which is gonna be this one, which is the microphone close to my face, which should give you the best audio quality. Then we're gonna do one with the microphone away from me and I'm not going to turn up the volume. I'll probably talk a little bit louder um, just so we can see how Adobe handles um, large gaps between microphone and person. Then I'm going to open the window uh, that is in my bedroom. Now I live in a very loud area so it would be interesting to see how Adobe handles that. And then for the last one I'm going to put my hand over the microphone and see how Adobe handles that type of stuff. So anyway, I don't know the results because I'm just going to go as through it or go through it and we'll see how we go. So the first thing is, this is what the audio sounds like without any enhancement. So I'm not going to make any adjustments in DaVinci Resolve. So if the audio sounds kind of crap today, it was because I have made no adjustments. I'm actually bad at audio anyway. This is what it sounds like with the audio enhancer on. So hopefully it sounds a bit better. Hopefully it sounds that studio quality that they really want. A train was passing by, so it's kind of annoying, but... Let's see how Adobe handles that. So hopefully that sounded pretty good. Let me know in the comments how you thought that sounded. So the second one we're going to do is we're going to move the microphone away from me and see what it sounds like. <laughs> this is rather awkward. Okay, so this is what the audio sounds like now without any enhancement. Now the microphone isn't that far away. It's about arm's length, so it's not too bad. So there shouldn't be that much adjustment made. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is what it sounds like without any enhancements on. Now this is what it sounds like with enhancements on. So hopefully again, it sounds studio crisp in quality. Um, it is a free service, so we can't, you know, hate on it too much. Anything for free, you should really not be so critical about it. But how does that sound to you? Does it sound better? Does it sound like studio quality? Is it filling in that gap well? Or does it sound, well, kind of crappy? Let me know. All right, now for the third one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this window up and see what it sounds like. I might even move the microphone closer to the window too, um, make it a little bit harder. And a plane is passing by, which is perfect timing. So here we go. Alrighty, so how does that sound to you? I might move the microphone over here. It might be a little bit easier, um, just in case we don't get any volume whatsoever. So this is with the microphone with no audio enhancer on. Um, I'm assuming it sounds pretty crappy. There's a lot of cars going by. Um, I don't know if you can hear there's a lot of birds, a lot of planes, well, a plane, not a lot of planes. Now, this is what it sounds like with the audio enhancer on. So hopefully this sounds a bit better. Um, I'm not sure what Adobe's going to do with background noise and things like that. I'm not an expert in audio. In fact, audio is probably one of the worst things I'm, worst things I'm bad at. That makes no sense, but that is a sentence. Um, and I'm going to leave it in. Uh, um, so hopefully that sounds a bit better, but... We can only see. Again, I have no idea. I've, I'll be listening to this as you're listening to this. So we'll see what it sounds like. For the final one, we're going to put my hand over this microphone. And I'm going to use both hands, because why not? Alrighty, so this is with both my hands over the microphone um, with no enhancement whatsoever. Obviously, the sound is going to be very muted out. And again, that makes no sense. <laughs> sentences um hopefully it sounds okay i mean i'm assuming it doesn't hopefully i mean it's no sense either all right so now we're going to put the enhancement on and see what that sounds like so this is with the enhancement on so i haven't changed my voice whatsoever i'm speaking the same volume as before i mean not precisely but pretty good i think um this would be very hard for anyone to make sound good so it'd be interesting to see what adobe can do with it but hopefully it sounds pretty good. I mean, it's a free service, so all in all, if everything is good, 
damn, this works out for everybody involved, especially if you're new to YouTube. Something like this is a massive, massive help. I really struggled with audio when I first started making videos, and I struggle again with making audio sound good with video. Alrighty, so that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to give a like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the program now. So all you have to basically do is go to the website here and then scroll down until you find it and then upload your audio file, chuck it in there and then it'll do its little enhancement thing and then you download it and then you put it straight into your, well, timeline. And that's basically it. I don't think it works for all files. I haven't really tested all the files out. So I guess just make sure you put in the right one in, like MP3 or whatever it is. And that's it. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and a great New Year's. And I've been Drew from Gringo Productions.